Let's take a look at the molecular geometry for CH4. This is methane. And we'll start with a Lewis structure. So here's our Lewis structure for methane. And we'll notice that the central carbon here has one, two, three, four hydrogen atoms bonded to it. That means our steric number is four. So we have a steric number of four, and we don't have any lone pairs. So these pairs of electrons here, they're actually involved in a chemical bond with the hydrogen. So we don't have any lone pairs, zero lone pairs. So we go down and then over, and we have a tetrahedral molecular geometry. And the bond angle for CH4, that is going to be 109.5. Let's look at this in three dimensions. So the purple in the center, that's going to represent the carbon. Let's add hydrogens to it. We add one, two, and you can see they spread out to be as far away from each other as they can be. Three, right now we have what's called a trigonal planar molecular geometry. We add that fourth hydrogen atom, forces those down. We end up with what's called a tetrahedral molecular geometry. And the bond angle, that'll be 109.5 degrees. If we want to look at the electron geometry, it's also 109.5 degrees. It's tetrahedral because we don't have any lone pairs. So the molecular geometry for CH4, that's the same as the electron geometry. Let's go back to our Lewis structure. There's another way we can find the molecular geometry for CH4, for methane. That's the AXE notation. So A, that's the central atom. That's the carbon. X, that's the number of atoms bonded to the carbon. We have one, two, three, four. And then E, that's the number of lone pairs. And we said we don't have any lone pairs, so we'd say zero, or we just wouldn't write it. And if you memorized AX4, that's tetrahedral, or if you're allowed, you could look that up and see that it's tetrahedral bond angle 109.5. This is Dr. B with the molecular geometry and the electron geometry for CH4, methane. Thanks for watching.